Now, Sri T.K. Rangarajan. Chairman. Uh, speaking on this grant of Home Department, I feel it's a very important portfolio. For the minister, uh, the job is a can, challenge. After, after he come, finishes, you can decide. Sorry, sir. Sir, one uh? complete and then uh, one complete. Since he's senior person wanted to speak, yeah, yeah, after yeah. this we can take a... Yes, yeah, yes, house can decide. Yes, yes, the house can decide. I have no problem. I have no problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Home Minister agrees? You agree? Ah, Home Minister also agrees. No problem. After his speech. Sir, okay. this is a very important ministry. And the minister is taking a very challenging job. At the outset, I wanted to thank him. Before election, there was a firing in Naivali, Lignite Corporation. The Central Industrial Security Force shot an innocent casual worker. He died on the spot. I wrote to the predecessor of our minister. After election, we were all very busy. I did not think I will get any reply because the ministry has changed. But luckily on 14th July, I received a very operative, appropriate letter from our home minister. Whatever I raised in my letter, he has answered. Having said that, the CISF, this Industrial Security Force, are sometimes very brutal. Without any provocation, they shot an innocent worker. It's a casual worker. I would like to request the minister to consider whether some of the security force, they have mentally strong or mentally sound. Because if there is an unnecessary firing or lethal charge with a peaceful working people, they are not cr criminals. They are producing energy for this country. So I request the minister to see that security forces behave properly with the civilians. Sir, before going to the specific issue, let us not forget we live in an era, neoliberal regime, which has gifted more unemployment, skyrocketing prices, cultural degeneration, terrorism, communalization of politics, casteism, identity politics, created the new challenge to the peaceful society of ours. Sir, today, our society engulfed by crime, drugs and nar nar narcotics, journalists, and in conflict in law. Today, crime against women, a daily affair, or every hour, one crime has happened in this country against women. Children's future are questioned. Sir, I would like to draw your attention in the house. I come from a state, Tamil Nadu. There are a lot of saints were there. One saint, his name is Ramaling Adihala. He, was, he lived in near Vadalur near Kadalu, where the Neyveli Lignite Corporation was there. When he was leaving, he is approached towards the all type of humans. He fought against casteism. One of his speech, he said, Vadi payre kandabodallam vadine. What is the meaning of that? Meaning of that is, when the crops withers, I am saddened. In the field, when the crop withers without water, 
I am saddened. Sir, our society, we sympathize for cow. Sir, we sympathize for monkeys. We sympathize for donkey. We sympathize for everything, including dog. Pet dogs are there. But why we don't sympathize with our own brethren? He may be a Muslim or he may be a Christian. He may be untouchable. Sir, I would like to draw the attention of the house. If you take the crime rate, 2013, the total crime registered is 66,40,378. This was 9.9% .9 increase from 2012. If you compare this with the last decade, the crime has increased 20.8%. My friend has mentioned how the police forces are still in very low, according to our population, one lakh. And key posters are not filled up. Sir, Kerala reported the highest crime rate per lakh of population. IPC followed by Delhi and Rajasthan. Kerala, I would like to clarify, they registered all cases. They don't leave any cases. They're registered. So the crime rate is actually it's very high in Kerala. Sir, if you take the type of crime one by one, crime against women, recorded incidents, 9,546. And violent crime, including murder, attempt to murder, commit murder, rape, theft, riots, Recorded 3,357,213. Three hundred and thirteen. Sir, in between 2012 and 2013, there was an increase in the crime, cyber crime. This is a modern word. Cyber crime. 63.7 cyber crime against children. Today, children are not safe. 26.7 crime against women. Sir, out of total ten millions approached to various crimes, it is shocking to note the National Crime Records Bureau, 8,392 were illiterate between the age of 6 and 12, 12 and 16. And their education is only primary. 13,984 prisoners are primary education. The two categories amount accounted 51.9%. What a pathetic situation. These children are homeless. Some belong to the poor family. Many, the family living under the below poverty line. How, how your ministry is going to take this challenge? See, crime in India, according to the National Crime Record Bureau report, over one lakh suicide in India every year. This is a figure from government. See, the highest in Maharashtra, then followed by Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu. Among the cities, Bangalore tops, Delhi tops, suicidal. What is the reason? The reason is unemployment, drug abuse, and other factors. I'm told from Tamil Nadu, the plan allotment is reduced to modernization of police. I request the minister to consider, if we meet all these challenges, 
you must help the states. Communal attack on minorities are going state after state, sir. It is shocking to note many innocent Muslim youth are in jail for months. You don't register the case. You don't produce them in the court. Nothing is proved, but they are still in jail. In the communal clash, wherever happened, Muslims lost their life. Muslims lost their property. For example, National Confederation of Human Rights Organization. The team visited different places of Pune to inquire 31st May uh, attack around. Sir, the findings of the committee, 40 houses burned, 20 Masoodis were attacked. Out of these 20, five Majids were burnt. In total, 35 two-wheelers, five tempos were destroyed. 29 bicycles were burnt. 10 talas were broken to pieces. People were injured, one person was killed. The estimated losses, according to them, is 4.5 crores. See, they are very poor people. Very poor people are attacked when communal clashes comes. Not Aga Khan is attacked. Ordinary people are attacked. Sir, the incident of Musafapur, after all it's your state. They are our brethren, part of India. Riots have been killed many people. 50,000 people internally they have been replaced. According to the Home Ministry statistics, the fatal, 823 fatal incident on communal violence between, had been reported across the country. To the, during the election in UP, 247 incidents took place in Uttar Pradesh alone. Sir, <coughs> Again, I would like to quote, some of your cabinet ministers, they say, we will see that 370 is scrapped. Uniform civil code will be there. I'm not against uniform civil code. Whether the country is matured to have a uniform civil code. Building Ram Temple, at the disputed site of Ayodhya, have all these things by cabinet ministers. A Goa minister has stated that with BJP victory, the establishment of Hindu Rashtra has begun. The national media has reported on the basis of official statistics, 10 weeks after 16th May, 605 communal incidents took place in pardon, throughout India. BJP has given a go-by to its, its electoral slogan like Achi Din Ane Wale Hahe. I'm, I don't know much Hindi. Am I right? Achi din ane wale ahe. Nalla nal vandi vittu. The good day has come. So what happens in Musafu riot brought jot conflict to Muslim. In Sharnapur, riot brought six conflict with Muslim. The Tamil Nadu, the Dalits were attacked. Luckily, the government there is protecting them, giving them compensation. Sir, I would like to draw your attention. We respect this government. It was elected by the people. You are in the government for five years. 
All section of the people voted for you. The vote which you have received is not only Brahmins, Thakur, even Muslims were there, Dalits were there, everybody were there. After independence, most of the Prime Minister, including Sri Atil Bihari Vajbhai, had followed a tradition. During the Ramzan, the practice is to greeting the nation Eid. Our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi was not evasive in greeting the nation on Eid. Eid. Is it fair? No, I'm not yielding. You can replay. You can replay. No, no, I, I, if you don't want to yield, I, I have no problem. I will yield for you. I will sit down. No problem. The only thing is, yes. you, don't want to, you don't want to hear that. Yes, answer. yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. No. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Minister. No, the point is because, no, no, uh, Mr. Rangarajan. Sir, before because, going to no, the next he subject. was cor correcting a factual mistake, according See, to you. I, I, that I'm is I'm always subject allowed. To correction. Whatever I say, uh, uh, I am subject to correction. Ask where was the wish, sir? Huh? Where was the wish? That, that is my wish. Where was the wish? Where did he wish? Huh? Where did he wish? Who? The Prime Minister. With the paper which I see, the TV we see, I see. No, okay, where, okay, you nowhere, made, nowhere, all right, Prime you made Minister your point. Honorable Minister eat. said what he wants to say. The record is straight. If he's insisting on that, the rule will follow subsequently. Okay, you know, that's all right. We must understand yeah, why yeah. I have intervened. Yeah. If he's insisting that what he's saying is fact and what I'm saying is wrong. So I'm not insisting, you, you yeah. speak. Let <laughs> Minister speak. Please, no, no, it's only correct. We so have a parliamentary system when a minister yeah. stands up and then yeah, wants yeah. to do it. You will listen. Cases. It is like you that. You must have the patience to hear it. Yeah. If you are wrong, that's I can, okay. I can tell you, if I am wrong, you can contradict me or correct yeah, me no also. Problem. It's a fact which is there widely reported in the entire country. Please take note of it. And yeah. still, if you feel it, this is wrong, subsequently you can... No, no, that is later. Continue. Anyhow, Minister will... Thank you, Minister. Yeah, please. That is okay. Sir, today paper, Times of India says... But your time, you have to conclude now. Sir. You have to conclude now. Sir, unrest, unrest linked yes. in the coming polls in UP. <laughs> Sir, finally, I give final point. I would, I would like to talk about these Sri Lankan refugees. Sir, between 1983 and 2012, That's 3 lakhs 4,297 Sri Lankan refu refugees entered in this country. Yes. Sir, out of 99,000 refugees, uh, it, listening they have me. gone back to the Sri Lanka. Uh, your subject no, no, is, Mr. Raja. Raja, your subject is being taken by him. Sir, my request is... <laughs> my subject, today, no, yes. He is our subject, yes. I agree, it's our subject. Okay. Today, these people live in a refugee camp. About 113 refugee camps are there in Tamil Nadu. One is in Varisa. Sir, I would like to the minister or his representative to visit the refugee camps. I totally agree, you, de you, you, you reimburse all the money spent by the state government. But they don't live a human life. People wanted to go away. Recently, 140 people tried to go and reach Australia. We don't know what happened, whether they reached Australia or they died in between. See, why we don't we did not sign United Nations Refugee Accord. But is it not necessary to treat a refugee who has come as Islam in our country as long as he wants to live here? We must treat him as a human. Yes. Sir, that is not there. Now please conclude. Sir, I would like to see the plight of the Sri Lankan refugee. Yes. The, those who live in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Sir, thank you very much. Thank you very much.